ChatGPT is attracting a cross-field interest as it provides a language interface with remarkable conversational competency and reasoning capabilities across many domains. Unfortunately, since ChatGPT is trained with languages, it is currently not capable of processing or generating images from the visual world. Now, at the same time, visual foundation models such as visual transformers or stable diffusion or Mid journey, although are showing great visual understanding and generation capabilities, they are only experts on specific tasks with one round fixed inputs and outputs. This team of Microsoft built a system called the Visual Chat GPT, okay, incorporating visual foundation models to enable the user to interact with the Chat GPT by sending and receiving not only languages but also images and providing complex visual questions and visual editing instructions that require the collaboration of multiple AI models with multi steps. Now, the best part of this is it provides feedback and asking for corrected results. Okay, the system is designed with a series of prompts to inject and visualize model information into Chat GPT. Okay, so at the moment it is at the experimental stage but it is really really changing the narrative as regards the involvement of images and visualization into chat gpt now this is a paper i read recently okay visual chat gpt talking drawing and editing with visual foundation models it's a very very interesting paper that has been written and you could take a look at the architecture of the visual chat gpt everything is being summarized here from the user query to the visual foundation models used, including the bleep, stable diffusion, and pix to pix. Now connecting everything to the prompt manager to chat GPT, and then down to iterative reasoning, and then the series of outputs. Okay, so if you stay till the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to use this visual chat GPT, even how to register it, and how to demonstrate. I will demonstrate to you how to use it entirely completely for free at the moment because it's still at the trial stage but the wonders it is doing is exceptional so this is a complete paper about it showcasing the this is an overview of the visual chat gpt but to the left side it shows a three round dialogue okay three round dialogue that took place between some users the middle side shows the flow chart of how the visual chat gpt iteratively invokes visual foundation models and provide answers this one okay and the right one shows the detailed process of the second question and answer this detailed process of this second question and answer is captured here so the visual chat gpt involves different kind of stages okay this is a complete overview of the prompt manager this one it converts all the images into languages that chat gpt can understand so this is uh, how it is being done here in the in, the, in this flow chart and then you can see the different kind of uh, prompts that people were given okay people gave to this very uh, visual chat gpt from you can you can prompt it with different kind of text and it will respond perfectly you could upload images or sketches you can upload images and ask it to do something to draw something for you and it's going to draw it and one one good side of it is you can ask it to make direct editing to that image that it has drawn and it will make exactly that edit that you commanded it to do okay so there are series these are series of prompts that people asked and the relevant answers that people gave which is exceptionally amazing you can see multiple rounds of dialogues between humans and visual chat gpt in this in the dialogue visual chat gpt can understand human intents okay support the language and image inputs and accomplish complex visual tasks such as generation questioning and even editing at some point okay so this is it and you can go as far as this you can see file name sensitivity reasoning um, format strictness and it has given detailed information about the re results of the the prompt that people gave it and how it prompted the answers take a look at this one for example i was amazed with this that it was prompted to convert this image to black and white and it just did that the image has been changed to black and white 
just like it has been asked to and you can replace anything okay replace anything so this is very very interesting the paper was very detailed and take a look at the limitation some of these limitations was discussed in the paper i will link up this paper in the description so you can just go ahead and go through it and see what and what you can pick from it but it's a very very interesting research okay so take a look at this prompt that was given to visual chat gpt can you generate a card for me and take a look at the response quickly generates this card amazing a card reading a book right now take a look at the next response the next prompt that was given to it could you replace the card okay could you replace the card to a dog could you replace the card to a dog and then remove the book this is the prompt and take a look at the response fantastic right this is super intelligent this is very very interesting and it gives you the answer here's the nigger here's the image with the cat replaced by a dog and the book removed this is something else this is better than mid journey and this is going to be better than even stable diffusion this is a new thing in the ai world now take a look at the, the next response that's cool could you generate the canny age of this image and take a look at the wonders fantastic here is the canny age of the image just like the drawings okay this is so exceptionally superb so the whole thing boils down to you mastering what to prompt and if you prompt it the right way with the right detail it's going to give you the right answer take a look at this one now generate a yellow dog based on image based on this image so you attach the link to an image okay generate a yellow dog based on this image and take a look at the response fantastic right <laughs> Here is a yellow dog for you. Yes, this is it. And based on the given image, say generate a yellow dog, and this is what you have. I think this is exceptionally interesting. Now take a look at the next response. Paste in this machine and ask. And the machine, the visual chat GPT quickly respond, received. And now this is the question. This is where it gets interesting. What color is the motorcycle? It quickly, quickly ask this question and take a look at the response. The motorcycle is black. You can see where we are heading to. <laughs> so could you remove the motorcycle? Could you remove the motorcycle from there? That's the next prompt. And take a look at what happens. The motorcycle was removed from that place. <laughs> the motorcycle has been removed from the image. The new image is this one. And without any evidence, any sign of that motorcycle this is exceptionally next level you can be able to find out more information and even get access to that book from here okay so see our paper you can check the book and read more to get more information as you so wish but then i will leave the link to the visual chat gpt if you want to give it a try i will paste the link in the description so once you click you will be able to have access to it so this is the link to the visual chat gpt all you need is just to paste this link on your browser and click on ok and click on enter and then wait for it to boot. Okay, so this is the platform. This is the language you can, at the moment you can use the Chinese language or you can generate in English language. So this is the visual area. This is the visual chat GPT. This is where you see the results. But then what you need to know is that you have to paste your OpenAI's API key here. Okay, to start visual to start the visual chat gpt you have to paste in your open ai api key and how do you get that you can just come to your google over here and just search for open ai api key okay and once you click on that you see the the real platform open ai api key you just click on this the first one and it's going to take you to your open ai account if you are not logged in you can go ahead and log in and you can generate you create a new secret key from here once you click on this it's going to generate another key for you so once it generates that key you can just go ahead and copy click here to generate a key and you can see the key over here generated you can just copy this key and you can come back to the visual chat gpt and just paste your key over here you just paste it here okay so once you paste it it means you have now the access you now linked your visual chat gpt with the main chat gpt so you can have the opportunity to prompt it at any given point so once you put on this your key you hit on enter and it's going to enable 
this chat box okay this is the prompt box the punching area that you can just paste in any of your prompt and just hit on run or clear any prompt or you can upload an image from here as well so let's start by just giving some basic prompts okay for example we can try something like this um generate a figure of a cat running in the garden so let's give this as an example of a prompt and say run let's see what what it comes out with and to my surprise take a look at what it brought in a figure of a cat running in the garden has been generated the image file name is this is it okay and surprisingly this is exactly what we asked it to do okay so take a look at these prompts that i gave it i said generate a picture of a lion in a pool okay and take a look i've generated an image of a lion in a pool the file name is this one and you can see how perfect it has generated the image of the lion in a swimming pool now i prompted it further to say that replace the lion with a dog and take a look at the response it gave me i have replaced the lion with a dog in the image the file name is below and you can see perfectly it replaces the lion with a dog let me give it one more prompt can you generate the image of ronaldo with a ball so let's see if it's going to generate the image of Ronaldo with a ball. And you can see perfectly it generated the image of Ronaldo with a ball. <laughs> that is it. Okay, so I prompted for that by sending in uploading this picture using the upload button over here. I uploaded this picture and I asked it, who is this image? Who is this in this image? And because of privacy, I think it is trained not to give out names of people it said the image you provided is of a man in a suit and tie smiling the file name is this and i think this is very correct it's in, it's in a suit and tie and it's smiling and this is correct but it refused to tell me who is it it's sam altman okay so let's see the next prompt i gave it i uploaded the image of asraj these are new tools masters member and i asked it um, it said received. Yeah, that's the best part I like about this visual chat GPT. It said received. If you upload an image, to tell you received. And then you can send in the next prompt. What color is the girl's glasses? I asked it in this image. And it said the color, the girl in the picture, in this picture, is wearing black glasses. And that's perfectly correct. So this is really, really getting interesting. But then I noticed that this is still at the trial stage because there are still some issues some hiccups along for example i asked it this question can you give me the picture of ronaldo in a classroom i have generated an image of classroom with ronaldo the file name is this and you can see this is just the image of a classroom without ronaldo there so this is one of the shortcomings i don't know whether it's the, the hiccup is from my side or from my internet or something but it generated the image without Ronaldo. And I will prompt it further and say, add students to the classroom. And it said, I have add, replaced the empty class, the empty chairs, the empty chairs in the classroom with students. The file name is this, and I could not see any students over here. So just go ahead and give it a try and let's see how you experience it and what and what is your experience with it. But I think in my own um, little exposure and little trial with this, this is bound to be a very very big thing in the ai world because it responded it gives in answers and it's very very perfect it can even do a lot of things if you if you so wish to do so for example i can say i can maybe point it with this image and say replace this girl with replace the girl in the picture with a happy boy so let's see if it's going to get this and it has done that perfectly so this is it and it has replaced the image of the girl in the picture with the happy boy wearing the same glasses as asraj and it keep everything intact so i think ladies and gentlemen this is exceptionally interesting and this is really really next level in terms of ai that microsoft is trying to take the lead in this very war of ai revolution that does it for this tutorial on how to uh, use this visual chat gpt and the inventions that it, that have just been brought in the announcement and the fact that 
and there's this uh, paper that I enjoy reading and a lot of research is going on in this very platform. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, kindly give this video a thumbs up because that means a lot to me. And remember to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.